Hi there and welcome back to my channel and if you are new around here you probably clicked on the video because you want to see how you can make a simple kick and a bass beat in Ableton Live and that's really simple I'm going to tell you how you can do that in this video. There are different ways of doing it and I'm going to show you one way of doing it just to get you up and running and get your motivations flowing you know opening up new software it can be overwhelming and if you have bought Ableton Live uh, you don't really want to go and read a manual uh, the first thing you do or watch a 30 minute video so I'll try to not keep this video in 30 minutes so when you start up Ableton Live it will look something like this uh, I'm not going to explain everything here but here you have four tracks as default it's uh, two MIDI tracks and two audio tracks uh, so here you have the possibility to record clips and drag audio files into here and uh, uh, arrange them. But I want to switch to arrangement mode for this particular session. So you do that by pressing the tab key on your keyboard and it should look like this. So if you press the tab key, you go back to uh, the clip, uh, clip view again but we will be in the arrangement view. So, basic kick and a bass beat. Well, what do we need? Well, we need two things. We need a kick and we need bass. So we are going to start with the kick and you have to download a kick sample somewhere and add it into Ableton Live. That can be done in uh, different ways. You can, uh, for example, go on your Windows or Mac or something and you can you know navigate here to your samples and just drag them in here or you can add your folder here where you have your samples and you can go through here and preview uh, the samples that's that is an easier way of doing it let's go into my sample library here drum hits and let's go to kicks and let's just preview some of them okay so let's say i I like the first one here, so what I can do now is I can drag the kick to the audio track here, okay, because this is an audio file, we want it to be on the audio track. So now I have dragged the kick here, but you can see that it's very small, and that's because we have to zoom in so we can uh, work on it. And zooming in, you do that on the top here, you click and just drag and you click until you get to the sample here and then you can see here is the kick to play this you can press the stop button a few times so it gets to the start and you can press play now you have a kick you can press stop and you can press play now you have a kick there okay maybe you want a loop you want uh, just a little loop so what you want to do now is you want to copy the kick on this timeline so what you can do if we zoom in a little bit here you can select here from 1.2 here to 1 you select a little bit more than the kick and you press ctrl d okay and you see now it's duplicated here so if we press the stop button and we can press spacebar to play. We have two kicks. And you see there, I select a little bit in front of the sample here, so it stays on the bar when we duplicate it. So I click here and I select these two and press Ctrl D and again, Ctrl D and again, Ctrl D. There we have kick loop. So what I can do now is, you see this bar on top here, this is the loop, this is where you set to where Ableton Live is going to loop. So if you drag the to the end here, and this to the front, and you click on this loop icon here, it gets uh, orange, and you press play. You can see that it plays through the kicks just goes to the start and you see the volume there you can adjust the volume you can type in the volume yeah that's not basically what we're going to do so now we have a kick so that's one way of adding a kick sample to a project and you zoom in on the top here 
zoom in and out. And you can zoom in pretty, pretty, lo uh, pretty long or detailed or whatever you say in English. I'm trying to do this video in one take. And uh, okay, so the, this is one way of adding a kick uh, sample on an audio track. So this is an audio file. There's also another way. It depends a little bit on what kind of Ableton Live version you have. I'm just going to mention it. I'm not going to go into it, but you can go into instruments here and you have something called drum rack and you can drag that to the MIDI track here. And now you can add samples into this plugin. So let's say I want to add a, another kick sample here. I can go to my kick sample or let's say I want to find another kick here. I just click on that kick and drag it here. And uh, if I create a MIDI clip here, I can play this kick sample and other kick samples or hats on this single track here. But you want to quickly have a kick and a bass line. Sorry, do not click off the video. I'm just going to delete this. This was just to, to show you a little bit. Uh, we want something bass. Okay. Uh, first of all, the kick. I think it sounds. We want to increase the vol or increase the speed or the BPM, and that you do that over here. And we are going to type 132, so it's a little bit faster. Okay. Now uh, for adding bass or a sub bass or something, there are tons millions of, <laughs> of ways of doing that. You can find a sample like I have done here. I'm meaning an audio file. I, for example, have a construction kit here. I don't really use them, but I have something called baseline loops here. Okay. So we have something called sub baseline loop. So here we have baselines in 134 BPM. We can just set our project to 134 and we have some baselines here, okay? So these are just samples someone have already made. So I can just take this baseline here and just drag it out here. Okay, so we see that it's a little bit longer, but that's fine. Uh, 134 BPM. So if I just play this now, Okay, so we encountered something uh, interesting here. So it says it's 134 BPM and our product or our uh, project is at 134 BPM, but it sounded strange. Sounds off, right? Well, you have to double click on it and disable warp because it tries to warp the sample. But since the sample is already in the correct speed, you shouldn't warp it. So now it sounds better. So that's one way of making a simple kick and bass line with just using samples. And this is just audio files. So this is not synthesizers or thing, uh, like this one behind me here. But you can also use a plugin to make a bass line. Okay, so in Ableton Live, again, depending on what version of Ableton Live you have, you have something called instruments here. And here you have different types of instruments you can use as a baseline. For example, we can use the one called analog here. We can go down to bass and there are different types of basses here. So we can just click on them to preview them. This one sounded cool. Maybe. Yeah, maybe try that one. So what you do is you take that, you just drag it here. You say you see it says drop files and devices here. And uh, it will create a new MIDI track here with I think it's operator with this uh, uh, this patch and we can just drag it out a little bit like so. So now we want to make a new MIDI track here f uh, to create the notes. So to do that, we just select this part 
And now you can go to edit and you can, uh, now you go to create and you can select insert MIDI clip or press Control Shift M. Now you get into the piano roll. So if you want to get back, you just, you can click on the tab down here and you will get back. To get into this clip, you double click and you get into this clip. And to go back again, you click on this, on the down to, is it left? Yeah, so, yeah, okay. Okay, so now we want to add some kind of bass. So we double click on the MIDI clip. And since I don't have a MIDI keyboard here, I just have to use my keyboard and add in uh, the bass notes. But nothing is happening when I press these keys. Well, you have to click this little headphone icon on top here, underneath the fold thing. So if we click that one, you will hear the sound, okay? Okay, so I think that was sounds good. So I want to place out notes here, but how do I do that? Well, you have this pencil up uh, in the corner here, in the top corner. You click on that one, and you can just uh, draw out notes. And you can press spacebar to uh, hear your production or, or audit it. Is that it's called, maybe? And you can then also, if you take your cursor to the side of the notes here, you can also make them longer, like so. And you can see that they snap to the grid. And you can press B, the B key, to disable the pen and uh, enable the cursor instead to move it. And if I want to duplicate this, I can hold down the control key on my keyboard and just drag it and it will duplicate. And I guess my face is, maybe my face is, uh, let's see. Yeah, my face was over the notes there. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do it there. And we can just copy them. Maybe do something like that. And just duplicate this. You just select it and press Control D. It's right there. Something like that, maybe. And as you can see, it will loop as we said earlier. And now we just, we have a basic baseline. We can just play around with notes maybe. Something like that. Something like that. We can duplicate that. Yeah, click there. And you can go here on operator and you can adjust it. You can adjust the cutoff and frequency and things like that. And I promised you I was only going to tell you how to make a basic kick and a bass line beat but you can also go here into i just want to show you just to get you going you know and you can research more yourself you can watch some of my more advanced uh, uh videos on my channel where i go through my projects they are a little bit more uh, than this but you can go to audio effects and you can go to for example delay you just drag delay here just press ping pong and you can listen. Okay, it's a li little bit too much. You just adjust the dry wet knob. And you just... And just play. 
play it around. So yeah, as I said in the video, this was just a basic kick and a bass line and how you can do that in Ableton Live. I tried to keep this video as short as possible. I, I didn't really manage that. But if you like this video, you're welcome to share it with others. Click like on the video, subscribe to my channel and everything. And you have links under the video in the description to places where I'm active on, on uh, uh, Spotify, Twitter and uh, yeah, other things like that. I talk a lot about uh, different nerdy stuff on this channel, everything from music production to the gear, to the synthesizers, um, to the camera, the microphone, everything that's, uh, I think it's interesting and nerdy. And if you like that, you should follow this channel. So thank you for watching and thank you for your time. I will see you in the next video and good luck with Ableton Live. Bye bye.